Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. It's release day. That's right, July 8th is the official release of Double Masters 2022. In this video, we're going to open one collector box with four packs and I'll provide an MTG box analysis at the end. Over the coming days, I'll open more collector boxes as well as some draft boxes and provide a comparative analysis between the boxes along with some updated pricing. And with that, let's get into this box. Nice smooth open. If you're like me, you've already watched several other YouTubers uh, open up their boxes. So we kind of know what to expect. Every box is a little bit different. So uh, let's see what we get in these four little packs here. Just so much packaging. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just start over here on the left. Pack number one. So we're going to go through every single card because this is my first opening uh, of a Double Masters product. So we got a Thought Scour, a uh, Balstrid Spy, uh, Settle Beyond Reality, Deep Analysis, Skeleton Archer, Flicker Wisp, Summer Bloom, and then we get a Borderless Seeker of the Way Common, oh, a Wall of Omens Uncommon, also in Borderless. Then we get ourselves a Foil Radcoast Canarium, a uh, Foil Bloodbraid Elf, and we're going to see a Panharmonicon coming in from the core set, a couple of dollar hit. And then we see a Damnation Extended Art coming in here as, uh, as our first um, Borderless card in Rare. Then we get a Bloodforge Battle Axe in Foil Etched. And then a Force of Negation in Extended Art Foil. Look at that. That is amazing. So this card uh, is, is, is just a tremendous card as far as the value goes. And then we have a Sapperling token in the back with a Spirit. All right, so pack one in the books. Let's open up pack number two. All right, so we're going to start off with a Last Breath. Carrier Thrall, Hissing Ingar, Vampire Sovereign, Deadly Recluse, Orzhov Pontiff, Heroic Reinforcements. Then we get a Demir Aqueduct in uh, like Borderless, non foil. Then a Young Pyromancer. Then a Cassili Pride Mage in foil, followed by a Foil Flicker Wisp. And then uh, Rishar Prima Renegade coming in here. And then a uh, seasoned pyromancer, so the adult pyromancer coming in here in borderless non foil. And then we get a foil etched imperial seal, and I can already see it behind the back. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is, uh, is that the textured foil? It is the textured foil. What a pack. Oh my God, this is pack two. I'm holding about uh, $700 in my hand right now, if not more. And then we have an egg and an even. Uh, not even really prepared for this. So we're going to go ahead and put Liliana uh, in a sleeve. <coughs> and then we're going to do the same for the Imperial Seal. Wow. I am, uh, I am shaking a little bit on that one. Now, normally I would be super excited about a Force Indication, but to see this uh, in our first uh, box, Pack 2, holy cow. Um, let me see if there's any way you can kind of appreciate it. That might be the best angle right there. So those, uh, those sunbursts or whatever, they are actually slightly raised. Not enough, I think, to uh, affect um, the usability of the card or the playability of the card, um, you know, from, a, I guess, a rules perspective. Wow. Um, all right, well, this is already going to be a positive box. I can tell you that for sure. Um, but <laughs> st stick, stick around for the MTG box analysis anyway. All right, uh, monetary, uh, Monastery Swift Spear, uh, Drag Mangler, Coiling Oracle, uh, Perforos Emissary, Titan Strength, Dragon Arch, Spider sp Spawning, Coiling Oracle, Burning Tree Emissary, Thought Scour and Foil, Young Pyromancer in Foil, 
followed by a hostage taker from the main set. And then we get a thousand year storm coming in here in Borderless. An impervious great worm, so the biggest creature in all of magic in foil etch coming in here. And we're going to get a Marchesa of the Black Rose in foil borderless coming in at the end here. So very cool to see that card. Just a, a lot of uh, a lot of things going on there. And then we have a spider and a vampire. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up uh, the Marchesa as well as this Force of Negation. Just so I can kind of highlight the hits here. This, this one card alone, the Liliana, or really the Imperial Seal, would have paid for this box. Um, assuming their prices don't tank. It is release day. All right, we got a Lava Coil, an Unearth, a Might of Old Crosa, a Cassili Pride Mage, Strands of Undeath, Tower Gargoyle, Vampiric Rites, Simic Growth Chamber in Non-Foil, Radcoast Canarium, Non-Foil. Then we got a Seeker of the Way, Foil, Mentor of the Meek in foil. We get Drohan, the Siege Tower, coming in from the main set in foil. Followed by a Privileged Position. Oh no, really? Uh, we got a Planner Bridge. Oh, it's a Pithing Needle. Uh, I, I thought this was another textured foil. If you look at it in the back there, it almost looks like it is. So we get a Pithing Needle. Awesome hit, no complaints. Uh, I just was expecting, uh, or rather, hoping that there might have been another uh, etched foil in here, or excuse me, textured foil. All right, so I'll be back in 10 seconds with the MTG box analysis. All right, we're back. Everything's been sorted and inventoried. Now let's get into the MTG box analysis. Double Masters 2022 contains 577 total cards, 332 traditionally framed cards, 80 borderless, including common and uncommon, 160 foil etched, which are either all rare or mythic. And then there's a new treatment in the set called textured foil, which you just saw me have a freak out about. In case you didn't see the pattern, in collector boosters, there are no non-foil cards from the main set. The only non-foil cards available in these packs are the borderless cards. Now let's pivot to the set's distribution versus this box. This chart shows all the cards that we saw during the opening. The foils are in orange, the non-foils are in green, and the set is in gray as our baseline. As expected, we didn't see any non-foils from the main set, only borderless. In the foil space, we saw between two and seven cards for each of the primary colors of magic, so there's definitely inconsistency here. Being a collector box with only four packs and 60 cards, coverage of the set is going to be low. All 60 of our cards were unique, meaning that there weren't any duplicates, and even with that, we only saw 15% of the non-foils we were eligible to see, 3% of the foil etched, and 10% of the foils. Pivoting the coverage by rarity, these charts are going to look a little bit sad, but I think it's important to know what you're getting for $250 plus dollars. In the non-foil borderless space, we saw 3 commons, 5 uncommons, 3 rares, and a mythic. In the foil etched space, we saw 3 rares and 1 mythic. In the foil space, we saw 22 commons, 14 uncommons, 7 rares, and 0 mythics. In total, we saw 13 rares and 3 mythics in this box, including the textured foil Liliana. Let's take a quick moment to look at the potential value of Double Masters 2022 on release day. Now keep in mind, the current market prices are largely based on pre-sale numbers. In this chart, we can see all of the cards in the set by dollar category. Currently, there's 138 cards valued over $10, there's 61 cards valued over $5, and 101 cards valued over $1. The remaining 277 cards are currently under a buck. Here's another way to look at the set's value. This chart shows the number of cards in each dollar category along the gray line and the value of all of the cards in that category across the green line. There's currently 12 cards valued over $100 with a combined value of $2,890. There's another 22 cards valued over $50 with a combined value of $1,400 and 104 cards valued over $10 with a combined value of $2,300. In total, every card in the set has a combined value of $7,513.89. Here's a recap of what this box contained. 
In the non-foil space, we saw six big hits. We had a foil etched planter bridge at 1234, a foil etched blood forge battle axe at 1593, a borderless damnation at $19.20, and a borderless season pyromancer at 3278. And then in a single pack, we had a foil etched imperial seal at $373.95 and a textured foil Liliana the Last Hope at $476.42. Amazing. In the foil space, we did okay. We had two very notable cards. We saw the foil borderless Marchetta of the Black Rose at $19.74 and the foil borderless Force of Negation at $78.99. In the $5 to $10 range, we only saw one card, and it was the Panharmonicon from the main set, valued at $6.82. We picked up another nine cards valued over a dollar, but the remaining 31 cards were all under a buck. So how did this box perform? Well, I pre-ordered this box from Amazon for $242.32. Today we opened four packs with 15 cards each for a total of 60 cards. The four tokens gave us $6.14 in value. The non-foil borderless cards added $67.64 in value. The traditional foil cards added another $133.81 in value. The foil etched added $406.71 in value. And the Liliana textured foil has a current market price of $476.42. That brings the grand total for the box up to $1,090.75 which is a gain of $848.43 over the price I paid, which equates to 450% of the box price being returned in value, making this the single most profitable box ever opened on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more Double Masters 2022 collector boxes opened, analyzed, and compared. Until next time, do something amazing.